Your Gulf Coast Weather Authority is watching the end of a stretch of really nice days and the coming of some crummy days especially during the eclipse. <laughs> yeah, it's not great timing, right? Yeah. As far as this eclipse viewing is concerned, uh, it's not real good timing to plan an eclipse uh, in the middle of April, by the way, just for the record. But we just kind of have to go with how things go. And you hear us talk about Fox Local quite a bit, but when it comes to our eclipse coverage, this is really going to be what you need to really follow this all along. Now, I know the forecast is not great, but we're going to continue to show where everybody is going to be seeing as it moves through that path of totality all across our nation. So get that free download. Again, this is for your smart TV. You download it. There's no subscription. You make sure you're watching the Fox 26 part of it, and then we'll have that coverage all day long. And here's kind of one of our computer models that we're looking at for Monday afternoon. And you can see not just are we looking at clouds, but we're looking at rain as a possibility. And that includes for us over here in Houston. And that does also include over in the hill country and the central portions of the state where we see this uh, path of totality that we're expecting. And as we kind of roll through the clock on where that shadow will be happening, you'll see that there's cloud cover just about everywhere along the way as possibilities. A little bit more of a break when we get up closer to the Ohio Valley region, but then it's thick again across the states of the Northeast. And then once it gets into Canada, things get a lot better looking. So it's not going to be a complete washout for the whole stretch, but it's just going to have to be where we're trying to find pockets along the way. Back here in Houston, the peak of what we will see happens at 1.40 p.m., and that's going to be about 94% coverage. Now, remember, even with some clouds or a lot of clouds, you've got to use those solar glasses and block out the majority of the light so that you are safe on your eyes. Again, the clouds are not going to do it. You need to make sure that you're using the protection that you need. That's whether you're using, uh, uh, you're, you're looking at it directly or trying to look at it directly or if you're using any kind of a telescope or your cameras all will have to have those filters on there even with the cloud cover that's around uh, you'll need that here in the Houston area so make sure you're using the proper protection when you're trying to view that and again trying to view it on Monday. It's going to be tough as we start that at around uh, a little after 12 and that's certainly when our coverage on Fox local is going to begin. Rain chances, we're definitely piling them in. When we get to Tuesday and Wednesday, look for not just some storms, but perhaps even some severe storms. A little bit later on in the newscast, we're going to look closer at that as well with a few other computer models, but we do expect to end next week with some pleasant spring weather.